Season 9, Episode 12 of the North Star Show, Go Canada Go. You guys were playing during the game, but uh, we all caught the highlights, watched the game. Unreal. It was unreal, yeah. While we were waiting on the ice, while uh, Southwest and the refs were watching the game. <laughs> we were really? Waiting, yeah, it was, uh, the game was out of, out of control and we wanted to go home. And the refs uh, watched the, the game on, uh, on TV in the room, so it was kind of... Wow. I mean, that stinks, but it was a good game. You, you kind of can't blame them. Yeah, I mean the the ref gave me the smirk too. I was laughing. I was staring at him like, "Come on, man!" But it, yeah, you're right. What are you gonna do? Uh, our little connection, Kayla Addison, uh, Barry Rempel, and I coached him in novice. So you know, we feel like we got a little piece of that uh, Team Canada win. Yeah, Lance played with him too. Uh, one of my kids. That's and, right. Yeah. Uh, he was the best five-year-old in the whole league. It, you nice. could tell you could tell right from then that he was yeah, going to be yeah. something special and and i mean you've your, your kids have gone through hockey and lots of times those kids kind of flame out right they don't grow or something happens with them but from day one he was a star and he's still a star he he looked and i always laughed because in the dressing room he looked like a hockey player like he had the hair and everything and <laughs> he's only five years old but uh, yeah no yeah. <laughs> No, that's a flim flown player, not a, <laughs> not a top <Thompson> yeah. player. <laughs> no, for sure. And I, you're right. He he skated, he moved, he acted like a hockey player. And it's just, it, it's funny because I mean, we get so excited about some of the other guys. And I mean, we claim him, I guess, as a Thompson guy a little bit, but really, they moved a long time ago. But uh, it doesn't there, it doesn't you know, feel like we've talked about him as much as some of the but other people. Uh, I think well. uh, my understanding is the Hofer, uh, his dad might have worked at Inco. Really? Yeah. So he. His dad was up here, you know, years ago, and uh, he owned yeah. a drilling company down south. So that's another connection that wow. a lot of people don't know about. I could yeah. be wrong, but Murray Bennett told me that, so okay, he's well. wrong. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if anybody's wrong, is Murray, but I think he's right. We're, we're claiming both of those. Crazy win. Uh, you guys got postponed a little bit. Didn't quite get any wins this weekend, no. but uh, tell us about the weekend. Well, we started out uh, against Central Plains, and they scored th two quick ones. Um, but then we came back, scored three, three in a row, and it was three, two. Um, and then, then from there, it, got, it went downhill. Uh, we we were having a tough time defensively uh, from our uh, forwards not picking up the guys to the goaltending struggling uh, in net. Um, and then we went into Southwest. Uh, w there wasn't much compete in that game. I think it was nine one. Yeah. Chris, yeah, I saw that one on the internet. Yeah. Crazy, crazy turkey hangover for maybe all the all well, the boys. You, yeah, because sometimes well, you you try to get them to do things on uh, the break. Um, some of the guys you could tell with skating, and uh, the guys that had a chance, you know, Foe looked good. Um, he was skating, playing with the Bombers, um, and uh, there might have been another kid up called up with the Bombers, and I wish they would call them all up. Yeah, and then same not? with OCN. I wish they would uh, give these kids get them out on the ice. Uh, Monias was in Winkler camp, or we, we've got him coming up on a fireplace five yeah. minute major, and so he said he played good. With, I mean, with Winkler. But yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's excellent. And uh, Church said that he was down doing some stuff down. It was south Church too. was the other one that was with the, the Bombers, which is good when they get called up and you know they get to see what it takes. And I wish wish more of them would get that uh, taste of out you know what it takes to play at the next level and uh and it, it when they see it it hits home right and sometimes they wait too long and then then they go to a camp and it's all over and they're they're either playing uh at the next lower down layer down or whatever but you know they need i wish they could see it well and and the game it's funny how it changes speeds right we've all been to an nhl game where you watch from the the, the top of the stands and then you watch from right down by the glass and it's like yeah. a totally different game and then you know from playing when you get on the ice with these guys it's a whole there's a whole nother jump yeah like you, yeah. you can sit and watch a junior game from from right in by the glass but once you're on the ice it's just it's yeah a, there's it's, another level uh, there. yeah it's completely different and until you're there and you're in uh like even when we play the wild <laughs> There's that, you know, the talent level is a little different, and uh, for us to compete is, we start playing physical, and then we get a bunch of penalties. So it's, <laughs> it's um, and it, it, the kids, uh, the the best part was, um, it was three nothing, I think, in the last game, right off the bat, and Mary called a timeout, and you know, talked to him, and 
it didn't get any better. But then <laughs> in the third, we we you know we went in in, the, in between the second and uh, we talked to him again. And it's not about yelling at him in that as much as uh, just competing. You know we, that compete level you have to have it. Uh, sometimes the the talent isn't there, but you never uh, you never stop give you know you never yeah. give up. And and that's where we're at. You know, not at every game, but when we're, we get into that bind where we're starting to uh, to fall apart, we want to, because they have a tendency to, to really stop playing, and <laughs> and then it's our goalies try try to do whatever, and they get too many shots and too many quality yeah. shots, and then it's a blowout. So. What are you gonna do? Totally. Hopefully, we keep the compete up this weekend. We got the Winnipeg Wild in town, so that's gonna be a couple more tough games. But uh, hopefully, you know, the guys get some good practices in this weekend or this week, and, and we give them a run. Yeah, and you know, it's uh, we had a shorter roster. We have uh, Lohanan's got a bad back, um, Cavisto's got a bad shoulder. So this stuff, once you get into this part of the season. Um, and we had a big roster to start out with. Now we're wearing it down, and we got uh, you know the roster issues that that we got to deal with and figure out how we can get guys on the main roster to keep them playing. So that's a big part of it. Um, and then you know, uh, yeah, we got to come out because you don't want to get embarrassed at home by the Wild, and they they like to uh, run up the score too. Well, and, and this is the time of year we've talked about it in the past, but these these guys like uh, like Monius and Foe and guys that are looking to go another step further, they got to keep playing, and because this is when people are starting to watch them, and this is where you build character and uh, and you earn your way onto some yeah. of those teams. Yeah, you know, and uh, those guys show up all the time. Hill had an excellent weekend for you know and and uh, for the scores, but uh, Brandon Hill was really playing well, um, besides the score and all that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Another fan. <laughs> Murray's, Murray's your biggest fan. <laughs> Wild coming up this weekend. Uh, Paul Anderson behind the camera. He's a guy that's still getting Seinfeld stuff for Christmas. He's having a little trouble getting out of the 90s. Get anything good for Christmas? No. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I, I don't even. I can't time, remember. What time I got. with your family. I, yeah. I got a bunch of good stuff, but yeah, time with my family was was the best. Part. Well, when we get our age, that's that's what counts, right? I mean, I don't even like. I can't even remember what I got. I, <laughs> I'm I'm kind of joking, but but it, it is true. You know right. what? Actually, the 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 weird funny thing I did get was bar shampoo. So we've been trying to reduce our single-use plastics, and you get, like a bar of soap, you can get shampoo that's in a bar, so you're not throwing away the shampoo bottles. I got two of those. I really like it. So I'll report back in a couple of weeks. Now that I've got hair, this shampoo thing's right. a bigger deal for me. I Actually, didn't even get I a brush. Thought, I thought you were going bald. I'm kind of <laughs> impressed with that. I'm, I got to admit, I'm a little surprised myself. That's it's good. It's time, it's time to clean it up. Maybe for season number 10, we'll, I'll take it back down to the wood. Coach Laycock, uh, coming up on the show, we've got Ryan Monius on a fireplace five minute major. We've got Lyndon Gamblin and Odin Church on a two on one basically and a couple of super fans too a couple of young and adam a and uh future north stars absolutely right and adam b a couple kids that are looking forward to the mun cup which is 50th year coming up it's going to be a beauty all that and a whole bunch more right here on the north star show It's a two-on-one slash two-on-two, tendies two-on-one. Lyndon Gamblin, Odin Church are here for the two-on-one. And we've got a couple of special guests. What's your name? Caden Clemens. Caden Clemens and? Vegas Apotegan. Vegas Apotegan, couple big fans of the show. They've been keeping an eye on what's going on and they wanted to uh, have a little a little two-on-two, a big chance to take it to the North Star goalies. What do you got for them? What's your question? What did you guys get for Christmas? Uh, I got the sweater I'm wearing and an Apple watch and a couple other things, NHL 20. Holy, that was a good Christmas. Paul, was yeah. your Christmas that good? Not, not even close. Uh, I'm embarrassed to say, who's Mac Miller? Rapper? He, yeah, he's a rapper. All right. <laughs> and? Uh, I got some chocolates, uh, 
looking forward to get some hockey sticks, which I haven't gotten, but I was told I was getting. So Santa's elves were kind of busy, so they you you got, you got a rain check on a couple sticks. Billy, yeah. Chocolate. Now that sounds like my Christmas. What do you got? You got a question for these guys? Um, no. Yeah. Throw it out there. Ask them what they wish they got for Christmas, but didn't. What did you wish for Christmas, uh, but didn't get? It can't be a lot for this guy. Look at everything. He got an Apple yeah. Watch <laughs> and uh, his two front teeth. I guess really, I kind of wanted some human race shoes. They're Anim D's, but like, I mean, I'm grateful with what I got. <laughs> yeah, right. That was a good answer. Do you know what NMD shoes are? Do you have any nope. idea what he's talking about? Nope. No, me either. You? No. No? Give us a hint. What are they? Like, just cool shoes? Yeah, they're like. Are they cooler than those? Uh, I don't know if they're cooler. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't Nothing think so. Nothing cooler than King Minor colors. Uh, Lyndon, what do you wish you got for Christmas? Uh, probably some socks. A little bit more socks. It's a bit chilly up here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He, he moved here from Norway House and he thinks it's cold. What do you guys think? Ever been to Norway House? Yeah. And? Is it colder here? Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Okay, just before we uh, let you guys go, do you have any questions for them? Uh, what team do you guys play for? King Miners. King Miners? Yep. Adam A's? Yeah. Cool. And? I play for Carol B's. Carol B's? Dynamite. You got a question for him? What did you guys get for Christmas? Ooh, throwing it right back at you. Uh, I got a, like a GoPro. Holy cats, man, that's pretty cool. I got a new hockey stick. A new hockey stick, dynamite. Okay, Mun Cup's coming up, you guys. Tell them that you're gonna do great at the Mun Cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll get you on the Mun Cup show. Thanks for being on the North Star Show. See you later, guys. All right, two on one, Lyndon, Odin. Um, we're just gonna cut right to the chase because we didn't get many wins this weekend. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a terrible question, we'll keep it rolling. Uh, what's, the, uh, what's your favorite Christmas movie? No, uh, I like Elf and Home Alone. Home Alone and Elf, those are good ones. They are great. You know what, I've never seen Home Alone. Uh, Weird, eh? Yeah. You've never seen Home Alone. No. <laughs> I don't know how that's happened. People talk about it all the time. Crazy, eh? Uh, I've seen all of them, I think. Yeah. And which one's the best? Definitely the first two. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the other one's not even the same guy. I heard they were making a number six. Okay, then like, I, I only seen the first four. I've never seen five. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was four. I know I had, like, a pack, and there was, like, the first two, and then three and four, and, like, the skinny little packs. <laughs> I remember watching one and two. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> it goes downhill after that. Uh, what you got for questions? Um, how was your Christmas? It was good. Uh, yeah. I enjoyed being home. It was busy. Left lots. Highlight of the whole Christmas time, other than getting an Apple Watch and a Mac Miller shirt, hoodie uh, or whatever that thing is. I went to um, I went, to <laughs> I went to Top 40 for NAC hockey tryouts and went to Surus Carberry for some oh. hockey camps, kind of and. I like skidooing around in Flin Flon lots, that was fun. Lots of snow there right now too, and yeah. so warm over Christmas, it was crazy. Yeah, it was warm, yeah. So, so perfect. It was warmer than Norway House, that's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was beautiful. It was like minus 11. <laughs> it was beautiful there too. I'm gonna throw that one to you, highlight of Christmas. Um, hmm, there wasn't really much highlight about Christmas because I was sick for a bit, but I still spent time with family, I haven't seen in a while, you know. Perfect, great. And being home. Uh, favorite subject in school? Can't be gym. Maybe math. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good, good call. Hoping for Mrs. Krentz as a teacher? Yeah, I heard the she's a teacher. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I heard she's a teacher. The answer to that is always yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm lost. I'm lost. While you, th while you think about your next question, Who's the best ping pong player on the NNS? Oh, definitely Brady. <laughs> <laughs> no questions asked. I heard Ryan's good too, but I never seen Ryan play. Because I played his dad and his dad was good and he said, Ryan can beat him sometimes and he beats him sometimes, so. I think you're right, Brady's pretty good. Henry Much, alumni. He was Solid, good. yep, yep, pretty good, pretty good knip, knop player. Not, not even. <laughs> <laughs> Goalies. <laughs> In another zone. I'll give you one more and we'll wrap it up. Uh, favorite hip hop slash rap tune right now? I like 
Um, cash, like, cash. I can't, I can't say the last word. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, just let that slide. Were you pretty busted up when Juice World died? Yeah, I was upset. He, yeah. was, he was my, I listened to 74 hours of him last year. He was my most listened to artist on, of on the year. On your Apple stats? Yeah, yeah, wow. so. Okay, so yeah, that was a, that was a tough hit. Uh, I said last one, but uh, I'm going to ask you both this. What, uh, the last time you got those stats on your phone for how many hours per day, your average? What's your average? From right, like using my phone? Yeah. Oh, probably like six hours, maybe. A day? A day, yeah. Uh, What's your number one thing what, that you spend time on? Uh, probably YouTube. Hmm. Okay, let's do that. As long as it's not Instagram. How many hours a day? Mine's like two and a half to three, but it's because my phone dies really quick. <laughs> <laughs> You'd like, or, I'd probably be on it more if it didn't <laughs> die so quick. <laughs> and what's the number one thing you do on there? YouTube? Mm, Snapchat. It, Disney Plus for sure. Oh, watch, yeah. Disney. Watch Simpsons every day. Every time, every time I eat, really? Simpsons is on, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is. I like it. Here, you want to hear some kooky old man stuff? My last time I checked, it was an hour and 30 per day, and the second highest app was Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? That is crazy. Uh, did you guys watch Canada win? Yeah, I'll, we didn't watch a game. I watched, I watched like quarters and semis and stuff, but we were in the middle of a game when it was going on. I would have wanted to watch the game, but we beauty. Playing. Yeah, okay. That's, that's fair. It's better to be playing than to watch. What do you think of this crazy game? Crazy game. Yes, yeah, so the highlights. That last goal was one that nobody's ever going to forget. Nuts, man. Go Canada, go. Uh, Odin Church, Lyndon Gamblin, two on one, fended off the two on two from those two little kids. My name's Sam McDonald. I'm from Thompson, Manitoba. I play defense, number six. My favorite player is Paul Biznasi. Paul Biznasi. Yeah. Paul Biznasi. I just said it out like that, right? <laughs> Fireplace five minute major, first one of the year. We couldn't get the fireplace lit. It's Ryan's fault. It was, it was his job. You had one job. I did, you know, the matches, I think the matches might have been wet, so. Tough. It's been so warm and so damp out over all of Christmas, we just couldn't get her done. Ryan Monius joining me, one of our veteran players, going to be leaving the North Stars this year, so we wanted to catch up with you before the year ends and just uh, talk to you a little bit about your plans and uh, how the year's gone. So, uh, obviously, 28 and 1 and 28 is that where we're at right now is uh is not spectacular but beyond that how do you feel the year how do you feel the year's gone well you know it's tough it's tough not winning games but you know the group of guys we got it's been fun like all the guys are uh we have chemistry like it's there but just we need to string it together and get some wins for sure who uh looking back on your north star career who are some of the favorite guys that you've played with maybe you're playing with them this year or uh, in the last couple of years I think uh, Blake Lahonen's got to be up there. He just uh, recently been put on my line, and uh, you know, living with him and playing with him, it's, it's pretty fun. Dynamite! It's uh, awesome when that can work out. And I know we talked to him earlier in the year, and he loves staying at your place. So speaking of family, one of the reasons we got you on wasn't your stellar play this past weekend, because that included taking a game off for a couple too many tens. But it's your mom's birthday, so a little shout out to Sarah. Yeah, happy 40th, mom. Hope your uh, <laughs> hope your day's as amazing as you are. <laughs> Oh, that was really good. Well, well done. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we talked a little bit about uh, some of the guys you like to play with. What are some of your North Star highlights? I mean, the last couple of years, we don't have a ton of wins, but what are some of the most memorable uh, things from the last couple of years? Uh, well, you know, I might have been, uh, been hurt when this happened, but the OT win against Eastman, just seeing the boys come together against a good team like that last year when uh, Much had the OT winner, it was just the whole crowd was energetic, and you just love to see those, those kind of wins. It was nuts. Absolute magic moment. Uh, everybody talks about that. It was one that's really, uh, really stuck with everyone. Uh, outside of the rink, everyone talks about the bus trips. Bus trips, the highlights, hotels, uh, the walk in the red shoes. What are some of the other uh, off-ice stuff? No, yeah, hotels are definitely fun. Bus trips, you know, it's eight hours every weekend with, you know, the boys that you spend every day with. So you come together on the bus trips uh, more than, more than uh, anything. So it's, it's, it's fun. The bus trips are always fun. Awesome. We've got five or six more weeks to go in this season. Playoffs not looking good. We're not rolling them out, but uh, right now that doesn't look great. Uh, do you have any plans for after this? You're going to stick with playing hockey. Uh, do you have some uh, something else in mind? Uh, yeah, I think um, I'm going to go try out next year for uh, the Winkler Flyers. I've been practice. I practiced with them over the break, so uh, you know it seems like a good organization. I'm kind of excited to go. Maybe uh, get a season with there. A couple seasons there, maybe. How great would that be? And so you're down practice. I didn't realize you were practicing with them over Christmas. That is uh, just fantastic. So they have interest in you. How was it practicing with, uh, with that team? Another step up? Oh, yeah. It's, it's definitely a little faster. Uh, 
you know, a big step up for midget AAA, but I think, uh, you know, I'd, if I do things right this summer, I could, uh, I could step in there and play next year. For sure. Put on a quick 30 pounds of muscle and two more <laughs> inches, maybe? Yeah, hopefully. We'll see, though. <laughs> I don't know if you can go two more up, but uh, put, put on a few pounds for sure. Uh, any guys that you know down there, are there some people that you played with or uh, a whole new crowd when you walked into the dressing room? Uh, no, it's, it was pretty new. Um, Garrett Zeremley from Thompson. Oh, yeah. He plays yeah. on that team though, so but he'll be gone next year. But, you know, a couple familiar faces, guys from the league last year. Yeah. Cool. I didn't realize Garrett was down there, but you're right, a couple years, couple years older than you. Uh, any other, any other plans? Uh, some schooling, uh, anything like that, or it's all, it's all Winkler Flyers right now, and then we'll take it from there. Uh, probably hockey next year, and then we'll see, we'll see what happens after that. Yeah. Awesome. Why, why wouldn't you? Uh, any uh, things that you like to do outside of hockey? So, what are some of your interests uh, when you're not playing hockey? Favorite things to do? Uh, well, after the season, there's a lacrosse team at the school. Oh play that for sure. That's uh, something I'm looking forward to after the season and uh, yeah, just school, I guess, excited to graduate. Yeah. Field lacrosse uh, is going to be great. Bunch of guys from the team uh, will be there too. I know uh, Brady plays and Melstead and uh, a couple of the other guys. So nice to just kind of keep that rolling. Yeah, for sure. All the guys are, you know, we take a break for two months and then we're all back together. So it's not bad. Bit of a soft landing there. Uh, fantastic. Any more goals? Any more things that you're hoping to get done with the team before uh, before the season ends? Uh, just a couple more wins. Uh, that'd be great for I think all the guys and ho help the boys out next year. Just get a little more confidence under their belts and yeah. For sure, pass a few skills on to the rookies. Uh, Ryan Monius, Fireplace Five Minute Major. Best of luck in the future. Thanks. That's it. We're about to put the wraps on another North Star show. First, we got to check in with Conroy Halcrow. Conroy, first goal of the year this weekend down south. Yeah. Tell us about it. Um, so we were, it was shorthanded. We were on the penalty kill. I was going to go like hit somebody behind the net, but he ended up coughing up the puck. So I just passed it to Chris on the point, and then he took a slap shot, and I happened to tip it, and it kind of went bar down. Yeah. Woo. I love that. You tipped it and it went bar down, so you tipped it up? Yeah, just enough. I just love enough. it. Yeah. When, no, when, yeah, had to do it on the road so we didn't have any B-roll to, uh, to show anybody, but <laughs> congrats to you. And so you were heading behind the net to hit a guy. Was that the first uh, hit you were going to throw this year? No. <laughs> <laughs> you play a pretty physical game, and I know that helps the uh, team to get, uh, to get fired up sometimes. We weren't down south this weekend, uh, didn't see the games, but how do you think you guys played? I mean, you didn't win any of the games, but did you play okay? Um, yeah, for the first and second period of the game, but we always end up shutting down or losing motivation or just maybe tired, I don't know. A little, little bit of bus legs maybe. Do you think they're, and I mean, you're right, we've seen sort of uh, meltdowns in the third period a whole bunch of times. Do you think there's anything uh, you can do or the team can do to keep up that energy in this weekend? We've got the Winnipeg Wild coming up to town for two games. Uh, what do we got to do to stay sharp in the third? Uh, I think get some rest, you know, no partying like on Friday or Thursday and um, get a good meal in and just work our asses off. Yeah. <laughs> That is just spectacular advice. I love it. And maybe a banana between the second and third periods. Maybe a banana. Do you like bananas? Yeah. I don't. They make my stomach hurt, so I, I wouldn't have one. <laughs> I know. Uh, Curtis likes bananas a lot. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll, we'll get him a couple between periods. Uh, we talked to Ryan Monius. He's one of the uh, vets. He's leaving the team this year. I did a little fireplace one-on-one -on -one with him. Uh, he didn't play in the last game because he kind of got suspended, but uh, how do you look on the weekend uh, beyond that? Uh, he looked spectacular as always, you know, always has the puck, carrying it in, creating offense, and I just like, love the way he plays. Yeah. Me too, such a strong player. He uses it, he really uses his size, but a little deceptive because he's got great hands. Sometimes you think a big guy wouldn't have good hands. He's got good hands. Yeah, he's got really good hands. Yeah. He can move the puck around. And Odin and Linden, two on one, plus two, uh, two of our younger fans checked in on a two on one. Um, both goalies, even though we haven't been winning, those guys uh, I think have surprised everybody this year just how well they played. They've seen a lot of rubber. They did, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's just how it goes in some of these teams. So two on one with them and uh, Coach Laycock off the top. It's here on the North Star Show. We got the Wild coming up for Paul Anderson. I'm Bruce Krentz. Thanks for watching the North Star Show.